Chicho, I think we should distinguish good debt from bad debt. Okay, yeah, agree, Korea Stevan. Also, what is your feelings on inflation being understated? It's extremely understated. Inflation is way higher than two to three percent that they're stating. Gaylord, how are you doing? Um, good debt and bad debt. Good debt. See, um, there's a couple of ways we can we have to distinguish this. Curious, right? There's certain type of debt that you can accumulate that if you can't pay it back you declare bankruptcy is wiped clean there's certain debt that you can't do that with however that's certain debt that you can't you can't do that with education is part of that so spending money to get an education is a good idea but that debt depending if you got it from the government is never wiped out so you're if you're not able to pay that pretty rapidly you're into debt servitude right so spending money on it is good getting an education is good but the type of debt you're accumulating is brutal and that law came into effect in the united states in 2005. We'll look into it that was before the 2007 2008 financial collapse however everyone in the background that was looking at data knew it was coming so they passed laws to prevent people from going bankrupt they made bankruptcy more difficult right there's money you can spend buying yachts, going to bars, going on trips up the yin yang, buying jet planes, right? Buying fast cars and crashing them, right? That's wasted money. You could go into debt for that, right? What a waste of money. However, you can declare bankruptcy the money the debt is you're debt free. So again, that's what a waste of money. But then it's easy money you can wipe write it off the good debt bad debt is becoming trickier to navigate 